U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says he knows domestic violence victims want a better life, but he also says that it's not necessarily grounds to grant them asylum here in this country. So as KMAX Steffi Lee found out, immigration attorneys are now struggling to figure out what they can do for their clients. And we're going to see that they will have a much more difficult time moving forward in their cases than they have in the past. Robert Painter says at least a dozen of his organization's cases related to domestic violence or other gang violence cases won't qualify for asylum after U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions' decision this week. You have to show that the state either condoned it or they are unwilling to do anything about it. And that, that's an incredibly high burden to meet. And I so asylum officers are going to take this decision by the attorney general and they're going to say, Oh, generally, people like this don't qualify. Immigration attorney Kate Lincoln Goldfinch says in a previous client situation, she was married to a man who um, became a police officer but was also involved in a lot of um, gang activities. He was a very violent man. He almost killed her several times. She now lives in the U.S. legally but thinks if her case was still open, she is a woman who. Uh, based on this decision by General um, Attorney General Sessions, would be sent back to probably a certain death. Painter says women who American Gateways works with inside T. Don Huddle Residential Center applying for asylum often come from Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. These are also countries where there are deeply entrenched cultural norms that enable domestic violence. Asylum was never meant to alleviate all problems, even all serious problems that people face every day all over the world. In Austin, Steffi Lee, KMAC News.